hi guys and welcome back to my channel it is me Daphne here with another video for you guys today's video is going to be a DIY Valentine's Day basket um, the baskets I made are specifically for my kids, but they could be made for anybody, your loved one, an adult, just put in adult things in there. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I did these baskets, then keep on watching. So this is all the supplies that I'm going to use for this basket, for the most part. I'm only going to make my daughter's basket on camera. But yeah. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, so first thing I have is the basket. That's where you start. I grabbed two tissue papers right here. A red one and a white one just to get the contrast. I'm just going to slightly curve them like this. So the ends kind of look like this right here. And I'm just going to stick it in the basket this way because I want this to show on the outside. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my shred, which I'm just gonna use this because it's open already and it's not gonna show. So I'm gonna just use my fresh shred and this is only to give it some, um, some height. I'm going to just stick that in there. So the thing I'm going to start with is the book that I bought. I'm going to roll it like this and put a piece of tape. Okay, I'm going to make sure the pages are on the inside. That way they don't get taped. So I'm just going to stick it in here. Oh, well that, I think I need more tape. The book is stronger. So I'm gonna tape it. That should hold. Let me put a third one just in case. There we go. So I'm gonna place this. Let me lift this just a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna just place this. If you know me from the last video, I like angles. So facing that there. Then I'm going to just take the doll shoes place it right behind but also at an angle and now I'm just gonna start stuffing things inside the basket and make sure it looks kind of cute and I bought one of these lollipop um, hair tie scrunchies now I'm gonna add some lollipops Now with the lollipops, I'm going to actually take them onto like things. So I'm going to take one here. And I'll just place this one in here like a surprise. I'm going to add some more candy. And some heart stickers. Just for some fun. Stick them in there. And lastly, I have one of these, cute story. My husband and I have this in a bigger size. And my kids are like, I want one for me, I want one for me. So I found little mini ones at Dollar Tree. And lastly, we got the box of chocolates. I think I wanna just cover everything with it. I'm trying to stuff it there. Can you see it? Kind of hard to see with the glare. Okay. So the next step is to take one of these bags that are in here. This is what it looks like. It's very large. So it could fit very big baskets. So I'm just gonna open it up. So, oops, there goes Brave again. So I'm just gonna place this in here. Now what I need is tape, a scissor, and this is where I'm going to use the ribbon. So I'm just lifting it up, that way I can kind of have 
the least amount of fold in the front because then if it's like scrunched up here you can't really see everything perfectly so i just kind of let it fall backwards and then start scrunching from the top while pulling the front back cut me a piece of tape like so now we have all of this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these corners and I'm going to tape them backwards and now fluff it out oh crap okay well don't pull too hard Now we got the ribbon. So next I'm going to take both ribbons. Like that. Voila, it's a knot. Now you could either leave this like this, which is like big curly, or you could actually curl your ribbon, which to curl your ribbon, let's put this closer. So to curl your ribbon, you just grab the non-shiny side, side, the non-shiny side side, and then take here, and that's it. You have a curled ribbon. So my last step is to cover right here, and I will be covering that with And then stick it on anywhere. And because I like angles. Peace, come on. This basket is officially done. It didn't take too long, maybe like, I think a total of 20 minutes or so. So these are the three baskets right here for my three babies. Yeah, all three finally finished. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed me making these baskets and enjoy videos like this, then please leave this video a like. Also, if you have not done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel where I will be doing more DIYs and all kinds of things on this channel. Just let me know what you like and I will, you know, do it so if you like these things then yes easter is coming and there will be more baskets to come i also have a few more things for valentine's that i want to do so yeah anyway guys have a great day have a great night have a great time what was that? anyway have a nice day bye